Hi there. Good morning. So it's almost Christmas and just like last year, we decided to bake something. Yeah, we're going to make some Christmas scones. Yeah, they are called Christmas morning scones and they sounded so tasty that we're going to make them for the first time and fingers crossed, I hope they will turn out well. What yeah. do you think? No, they're going to be fine. Well. It's teamwork, so they should. Mm. So let's start. Yeah. So this will be for eight scones and you will need 320 grams of gluten-free or regular flour, one tablespoon of baking powder, 75 grams of sugar, a pinch of salt, half a teaspoon of ground nutmeg, two tablespoons of dried cranberries, chopped, four teaspoons of fresh rosemary, 80 grams of unsalted butter, 240 milliliters, half and half, milk and cream, and one teaspoon of vanilla bean paste. And now bake for about 16 to 18 minutes. And now we are making the glaze. What do you think about the scones? They look amazing. They really look amazing. Really? Yes, I've never seen such beautiful scones. <laughs> That's not true! I think they look alright, but not amazing. They look amazing. Well, let's make the glaze and then we'll see yeah. how we get on. Yeah. So for the glaze you need one cup of powdered sugar, half a teaspoon of vanilla bean paste or extract, a quarter teaspoon ground nutmeg and two to three tablespoons of water. It does smell Christmassy. It smells nice. Okay, the scones are done and the recipe says it's without clotted cream or jam because, well, we think they might be sweet enough with the glaze, so do you think as well, Yo? Yeah. 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 And uh, we 
Ford, we would answer, we, we would make a little Q&A as well and try the scones. And one of the questions was, which tea do you prefer? And I really love English breakfast tea. It's my favourite, or Darjeeling tea. You? I like a strong tea, which is breakfast tea, um, an Assam, Assam tea, or even exotic teas like oh, oh, yes, I remember. Lapsan Sochal, which is a Mongolian tea. Which I can't, I can't even bear. Yeah, yeah which the, is really, really strong. The, so. the, the smell is quite, quite strong, but you like it, yeah. yeah. And another question is, do you have a bucket list? No, we don't. No, we, we, no, we don't. No, I think we've got probably ideas what we want yeah. to do, yeah. but we've got no list where we, let's say, tick boxes in. No, we don't. We also think, or it might be one of the reasons, might be because we think that circumstances change and yeah, yeah, we we don't think. I don't know. Do you, yeah, do you? I don't feel happier when I think I have to go there. No, I don't know. It's a bit hard to explain. And our priorities change. Yeah, circumstances, priorities change, and um, yeah. And yeah, please try. I'll try now. <laughs> mm. Mm. Is it really dry? Mm -mm. No? Okay, well. Okay, I have a dry one. Well. good. Really? Because mm -hmm. I'm not sure with, with the um, gluten free flour. No, but it tastes like really like Christmas milk. Because you can. You can taste a rosemary, you can taste the nutmeg. I think I this could do it. This is usual scone. So, sorry, I could use a bit of jam, I think. No. Really? I, no, no? It's fine. Hmm. Mm. Yeah, but it's a completely different taste. It's really Christmassy. Mm. It's nice. Another question Who edits your vlogs and chooses the music? Yeah, I do. I like doing it, it's fine. Um, are you and you speaking English when alone? We don't. Niemals. <laughs> Wir sprechen nur Deutsch. Huh? It's because, well, we are both German, so we would feel really strange yeah. to speak English when we're alone. And because my English isn't good. <laughs> and her English is good, no. she would always try to, let's say, I'm telling you what I said wrong. Well, no, it's not really true because I'm, no. I make mistakes all the time, so huh? we are both quite hard no. on ourselves. Better tell them we speak German. Yeah, we speak German. It's our first language and, yeah, <laughs> it would feel strange otherwise. I have a very interesting question. Hmm. How were you so lucky to find a husband that likes to shop? I don't know. Really can't tell you. I just know, well, I know that a lot of men really don't like shopping, but it's very easy with you. It's really easy. Probably I'm just a patient guy. Yeah. But sometimes when, like, for example, you have, I love bookshops. But sometimes um, you really like to spend a lot of time there and then we say, well, I go, let's meet in half an hour and I go somewhere, yeah. for example, I, I don't know, what do I do? For example, I would need makeup. I mean, you are patient, you, you, you go with me, that's not a problem, but sometimes we just say, go to a bookshop, have a coffee or something and... Um, look for a very nice book and I buy makeup, stuff yeah. like that. It's, yeah. But we also enjoy doing it together. It's no problem at all. No. It's really easy with you. Um, do you plan to travel outside Britain? Yes, we do. But what we're planning to do is first, we want to travel inside Europe. Because yeah. Remember, 
Yeah, four years ago. Before we came into the UK, we spent a holiday in France. And we've never been to France before then. Not, not that much. Yeah, I have. Not much. But was no. So long ago. So, and so we decided, okay, we're going to travel, we're going to Europe. Right? Because I think now with what's going on regarding climate, we don't think to do long distance flights. No, I mean, we had our fair share of long distance yeah. travel, I think. Yeah. And we think so many places, there are so many places still for us to yeah. explore here in the UK. And also in Europe, Europe is beautiful. Yeah. And we wanted to go to France this year, but um, luckily... Next year. La th this year, luckily, my sister said she, she is is going to visit with her husband for the first time and we are really excited about that so yeah that's absolutely fine we're going somewhere here huh yeah next question then of all the places you've visited in the uk what are the top three places you would suggest an american couple planning their first trip to the uk mm -hmm. I believe when planning your first trip to the UK, you definitely have to see London. Yeah, yeah. And all the buildings, all the museums, and, and the city because it's an amazing city. Yeah. Mm. And depends on what you want to see. So I've got two things. You could go to, to the Cotswolds, mm -hmm. or you could go to Denver and Cornwall because the coastline is just amazing there. Yeah. And I think the third place is definitely Edinburgh. Yeah, Edinburgh. Yeah. Where, uh, because it's a, such a lovely city and the Scottish people are just amazing. Yeah, and we think Edinburgh is such, it has such a nice size as well. You yeah. can compare to London, you can just, you can easily walk and the atmosphere is, is just beautiful. Yeah. It's nice. Yeah, so you start to work, start in the south and end in the north. And uh, don't even mention the highlands. They are out of this world. They are so beautiful. And yeah, hopefully we are planning to go to Edinburgh probably in June. Yeah, yeah. And that's exciting. And there's another question. Um, how do you pick your ventures into the English countryside? Basically, Instagram, Pinterest is a huge inspiration. A lot of books. Yeah, yeah. Hmm. Also, I have to say, sometimes when we watch a film, an English film, yeah, and we see places. Say, yeah, we see places. It, it happens very often, I think. Oh, when my colleagues tell me something. Yeah, true. And this was our last video before before we're heading to Germany, before the new year. And we want to thank you so much for all your support, for your lovely comments, for your messages. And yeah, we are really excited for the new yeah. year. So have a happy Christmas and a good start in 2020. Yeah. Us. You know what? That doesn't really matter. Yeah. Oh my god. Okay, major fail. Anyway, have a Merry Christmas and we'll see you next year. Bye.